Um, we have number six. It says an airplane fly, fly, flying 550 miles per hour has a bearing of south 15 degrees west. So let's determine where south 15 degrees west is. Well, we write up our map of bearings. North, east, south, west. So it's going 550 miles per hour has a bearing of south 15 degrees west. It's going to look something like that, right? It says after two hours, how far has the plane traveled? So first of all, let's see this distance. If this plane is flying on this route, if it goes one mile, how far has it gone? I'll say it again. Right. It's 550 miles per hour. So if it goes travels for one hour, how far did it travel? 550. Very good. So then if it goes for two hours, it has traveled now for 1,100, right? So let's say at two miles, it went 1,100. That's your miles. That's the distance right there. So that is my distance of that vector. That's for two hours. Yep. So now, the next thing is, how far has the south has a plane traveled from its point of departure? So we look at, here's our plane of departure. What they want to know is, how far did it go south? And did it say east as, or west as well? Nope, they just want to know how far did it go, um, how far south did it go? So what we want to figure out, we know that's S, we want to figure out what Y is. Okay, so therefore we need to look at where's our right triangle. Sorry, I probably should have showed you guys this. Remember, you need to create a right triangle, right? They want to know this distance. We have this distance. You have to create a right triangle. Draw a perpendicular line to your axis. Now, this is my theta. So, when drawing your perpendicular, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Thank you. I kind of drew it down there. So therefore, well, so here's my angle. So I have the hypotenuse and the opposite or adjacent. Jacob, what do you say? Very good. Adjacent. So therefore, guys, guys, follow right here. Follow along for right here. So therefore, since we have <coughs> the hypotenuse and adjacent, you can say, um, you're going to do cosine of 15 degrees equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Y over 1,100. Therefore, Y equals 1,100 times cosine of 15 degrees. So therefore, to find the rest of that problem, all you're simply going to do, what the heck? Cosine of 15 degrees. So you write cosine of 15 degrees times 1,100. And therefore, you can say that the distance, which is going to be just in miles, you could say y equals 1,062.52 miles. Okay, yes. Sure. You actually 